to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button below, and comment below of all the things that I fail to do or that I do well. You're more than welcome to give me praise uh, as well as criticism. So we're all here to learn and get better. Anywho, uh, today is Saturday. We have got. Uh, Okay, it's going to rain tomorrow, that's good. And then, what do we need to do today? Probably, okay, we've got a good luck day, so that's probably a good indicator that we should go to the mines again. So, Marlin gives us a task to kill ten slimes, and that will get us into the Adventurer's Guild. Not that I really care that much about the Adventurer's Guild. Now, you can buy weaponry and other accessories there uh, but I don't really like to spend any money there because a lot of the stuff you can get by other means um, so that said we're going to water the crops we got some taters here we still are waiting on our green beans to uh, grow to their full potential and they will continue to yield uh, green beans for the rest of the season. Forgot about old uh, Cooper up there. Is that rice done? Let's take a look, see here, real quick. Oh, we got to go to. Um... Nope, not done. We have to go to the museum as well as. Uh, blacksmith so we'll get the geode cracked we probably should take a chance here to um, cut a couple of trees and build a chest because we're probably gonna need it I mean we're already full up here where is my axe oh I have it duh so I probably already planned on doing this anyway before I forget. What's up, dude? Probably need to give you some water, but it's, I don't think it really matters. It's just a habit that I generally like to do. Because after all, he is our pet. We should love him and respect him and make sure that he is well nourished. And obviously, water in his bowl is a good start. So, alright, this will give us enough wood for another chest. For right now, we'll just pop it back in here. Boom, 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 boom. Won't need you. I can't even put that in there. Cripes. Uh, let's do this. We'll take our fishing rod. And the reason we'll take the fishing rod is because we've got three chubs, three silver chubs, and one gold chub. That probably, oh, wait, okay, that's probably enough to um, get us through the day, but I don't know for sure. Can I craft fertilizer yet? I can. So I need to remember to pop this fertilizer down uh, before planting our straw babies. So, that is something to do later. We'll do some foraging here on our way to Clint's and the museum. Then we will go to the mines. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Cutscene. Mayor Lewis is sad. Oh, hi there. So uh, we're uh, what an eyesore. Well, you are the mayor, after all, Lewis. So this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. Says literally, he's got to be the worst mayor ever. I mean, think about the shape that this town was in before I got here. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. 
Now just look at it. Shameful. These days, young folk would rather just sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Sure, blame it on the youngsters. <sighs> Take some responsibility, Lewis. Joji Corporation wants to buy it and turn it into a warehouse. So for those of you who don't know, the two ways that you can kind of go at this game, Community Center is kind of the centering piece of the, of the game, the end game at least. So if you fix it up and you do so by donating stuff to it, as you'll see in a minute, well actually in a couple of days, if you fix it up, everyone's happy and I won't share what else happens actually because I don't want to spoil it. You can also um, go a different path, which is to, I think if you sign a membership at Joja Mart, they turn this in, and then Joja Mart turns around and buys this place. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. So there's a little, you know, fortress of solitude in here that belongs to this little guy and his buddies. These are Junimos. And Lewis did not see the Junimo, but I did. And so he's like, what's your deal? Are you sick or something? And I'm like, I swear, it was right there. And he's like, uh, sure. Sure. And there it is again. And I see it, and he doesn't. And now Lewis is like, okay. Now we got problems, because you are in charge of a farm, and you might be crazy town. So, anyway, he's going to take off. Um, he's going to leave this unlocked for me. So now we have access to the community center. Now, it says we should come back and explore, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now, because there's a little thing back here that we got to read, or attempt to read, to kick off. There you go. Gibberish, which we will learn to read in the future, thanks to some psychedelic drugs brought to you by... The wizard, who we get to meet hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. Depends what we uh, decide to try and accomplish. Okay, so initiation, slay ten slimes, get deeper into mine. Oh, I forgot about this. Wild horseradish for Elliot. That would get me 150 Gs. Oh, we need to craft a scarecrow. Can I do that? Uh, what are we what are we at here? Craft. Uh, yes, we can. Gotta remember to craft a scarecrow uh, so that we don't, you know, a so we complete that task. Let's see how I how to Sebastian here. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. What do you want? Never mind, Sebastian. Just wanted to say hi and be friendly. Uh, actually, let's run out here <clears throat> and. We're going to grab all this stuff. In fact, we're going to grab you too. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to try and take as much stuff home today as we can. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. You're a good man, Lewis, or Linus. I like you, bud. All right. Okay, we got another bar smelted there. Let's put everything in here for now. Now, we are going to want to get five of you, one of you, and you. Start that, now we're heading back down to level 15. Whoa! 
drop me goodness. Nothing. Nothing. Give me a break. Oh, we gotta kill these stupid things down here before they turn into those little flying things. And there were more up here. Let's see if we can get to them before they start to cause trouble. I think so. Yeah, good. Not that I generally like to go out of my way to kill stuff, but those are such an annoyance that I will do so. I hate these levels where it's hard to see, uh, especially because the room I'm in has a minor issue with glare. Not bad, but it makes it really hard for me to see in the darker places, but that is not an issue when you get the, the ladder in, in the brighter spot. Alright, um, I know I need to kill ten slimes, but I'm not too concerned about... What the heck? Not too concerned about um, the Adventurer's Guild, like I mentioned earlier. Alright, anything good up there? Nope. Alright, let's uh, sneak around here. You guys need to die. Dang. Amethyst. And I think... Uh, did I forget to go to... I forgot to go to the museum and Clint's... Crap! Uh, well, let's... No, oh, come on. Hit him! Man, and here he comes. <sighs> My phone is buzzing. There we go. Stop. I get here in time to kill these dudes. Oh. So if you don't kill these guys, they do that. And then they turn into those stupid flying things that I absolutely hate. I'm ready to just get out of here. This day sucks. I screwed up. I don't really care enough about the level of the mine to be too worked up over this. What I need to do is get down to the museum. So we got a topaz, we got an earth crystal. We'll get these. We'll put you in there, you back in there, you in there. You in there, grab you, Gunther, 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 you in there, Gunther, Clint, is that it? <sighs> yeah, that's it. Now, how's our energy? 16. We're going to need to fish. So we're going to grab the fishing rod, we're going to put the sword back in there, and let's take the single... Crappy carp. Sort you. Sort you. Alright. Well, change of plans. Because it's 2.30 and we got to get there before they close. So what we'll do is go do this and then we'll fish maybe in town. Um, just because it's going to be you know, convenient. At that point but again we, we screwed up not a big deal so somebody should have reminded me that I failed to go to the museum and to Clint's thanks a lot team all right Clint I need you to bust open these geodes and it might give us some other stuff to well to drop off at the museum like that this might be enough to get us a good reward, which I think is cauliflower seeds, uh, and the reason why I usually don't ever buy cauliflower seeds. So 
here we go. Hey, what's up, Lewis? <clears throat> Bumped into him twice today. Alright. Come on. Okay, so there's a reward. Yay. There's just one, though. It's all good. Nine cauliflower seeds. Get those planted. So... We're gonna eat this. That should give me some decent energy. So this was kind of a, a screw-up of a day a little bit. You know what? There's Elliot. I wonder if I can go find a horseradish to give him. That might feel like... Uh, you know, a way to kind of redeem myself for screwing up. So let's see what we can find. We're not going to go too far out of our way, though. We're just going to do a quick little run here. Leo likes to decorate. Yep, she's the artsy craftsy type. Come on, horseradish. Come on, baby. Wasn't this a good luck day? Now is about the time where that luck could kick in. All right, no big deal. Let's go back. We'll go fishing in the in the uh, the town here. Actually, you know what? Let's go down to the beach and go fishing. We don't go fishing down there very often because it's so far out of the way. And since this day is kind of a bust anyhow, that's what we'll do. We'll say hi to old Willie on the way. Okay, and we'll say hello to Elliot, who we almost never get to see. What makes you think I don't like dark spaces and spiders, Elliot? Alright, now we gotta remember that we don't have a chest to put stuff in. So we're just here collecting whatever we can fit in our backpack. And we don't have that much energy. Dang it. We got a couple more casts. We'll have to eat right away. I can't even remember what uh, fish there are this season. Anchovies, uh, herrings, uh, sardines maybe? There's some seaweed, okay. Whoa. What, what is that achievement? New f I'm a fisherman. I caught a bunch of stuff. And that is considered a great achievement. Alright, let's get one more cast and then we'll have to eat. We're not going to eat the seaweed. We'll eat the herring, but that's not even that much energy. <sighs> oh well. You know, fishing is uh, a good time faster. Okay, so there's a sardine. Eat the herring. This is not going to be too lucrative, because none of these fish are getting me a lot of energy. I think there's a nighttime fish in the ocean. There's an anchovy. So I got a anchovy and a sardine. Gold sardine is like still very little energy. So this was probably not the best idea. But you gotta catch some of these fish because um, they are required for some of the bundles. So, anyway. Plus, if we're down here and we're catching seaweed, that's good because we can put that towards fish ponds later. Which, you know, they're cool. They grow additional fish for you. Uh, they're a slow source of income, potentially, but also some other cool items if you put the right kind of fish into said fish ponds. How are we doing on time? 7.30. Got another cast in me before I gotta eat again. This is not gonna be very fruitful, and I would like to have enough energy to possibly plant my cauliflower tonight so we might wrap this up here in a bit what is this this is kind of jumping around what do we got here what do we got guys 
stay. <sighs> Come on. What is this? This might be the nighttime fish. I don't remember if it's an eel, maybe? Oh, halibut. I think the eel is way harder to catch. But that halibut's not a bad score. Good to have some variety down there. I've got four different fish, right? So. All right, come on. Eel. Nope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a chest, though. Okay. Give me a super awesome weapon. Please. Bait. Literally small pieces of food intended for other fish to eat. Um, yeah, let's head back. That wasn't very um, lucrative, we'll say, but we did manage to catch an anchovy, a sardine, a herring, and a halibut. So we caught four different kind of fish that we're actually bringing back with us, and what we'll do with those is probably save them. I like to collect them at least one early on so that I, I don't have to worry about whether or not I kept one for a community bundle. I need to build another chest, though. What did I do with that other one? Did I leave it up in the mines? Where did I put that chest? <sighs> See? This is what I'm talking about. It, multitasking is hard. Alright, so we've got an extra anchovy. We're going to keep the cheaper one. Oh, I can't. i got to build a chest. Duh. Alright, so build the chest. Set the chest down. This is going to be my fish chest. Boom. Boom. These. So, we're Selling the more expensive anchovy, which is really not going to be worth much, but it's no, it's not going to do me any good. So this is a sea item. Items that have to do with the ocean, or fishing in general, is what we're looking for here. Uh, and that appears to be it. We'll grab this and this while we're in here, because we're going to plant our... Let's see, we need 9, 18 energy to plant that stuff. 18 plus, I think it's like two swings apiece. So let's get the cave carrots, I guess. Good enough. Alright, now let's go back over here. We're going to turn you blue like the water. And now you go in there. Wait, I'm selling you. You almost got away with it. You crafty little devil. Oh, you can go in there too. And now, boom, sell. What? Where did the cave carrots go? <laughs> God, I am terrible. Uh. No, don't open that. Eat them. Let's just eat one, just in case that somehow is enough. I don't think it is, but we'll find out. Really? Put them down. Holy crap. You know what, I think I can just do this. And it won't let me refill my water. Oh, it will! That's right, because it doesn't use energy. So we're exhausted now, but 
we got that done without having to eat our other cave carrot. So that's good. Pop those back in there. Uh, now, see, the problem for tomorrow, we're almost going to have to go fishing if we want to remain productive because we don't have a lot of sources of energy now. I think I left some chubs up there maybe, but I can't remember. So our plan is going to be wake up and water crops. And then we are going to skip cutting trees tomorrow, I think. And we'll go towards the uh, towards the mines. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, Cooper. Can I get into bed? Thank you, buddy. I think the dog will sleep on the bed once they like you enough. Yeah, 37 bucks. Not the most productive day. Now, some of you may have noticed that there was a jump in the game footage and it's because I'm a moron for two reasons one I went to bed after uh, being exhausted so I lost half my energy right out of the gate so there's that and then also I did not plant or build my scarecrow so immediately upon realizing both of those things, I went into a profanity-laced tirade not suitable for uh, this audience. <laughs> so uh, we took a break and came back. Not a big deal, ultimately, but it's just stupid stuff. And that's mostly from just not playing for a while. So here we go. Uh, the wizard is going to help us with the quote-unquote rat problem, as I do air quotes, uh, in the community center. So we'll go try and maybe see him today. What else do we have to go? Okay, so there's that. Uh, thankfully, it's raining, so I don't have to water the crops because I would be pretty much out of energy already. There's the hat mouse, who I'm not super excited uh, about. I still don't think that's ready. All right, we got a lot to do today now, and the problem is we wasted half our energy yesterday. Didn't even use it today. So why don't we um, swing down through... <clears throat> We're going to swing down through the... No! Idiot! Build the... Scarecrow? What's a scarecrow take? Uh, one coal, 50 wood, and 20 fiber. Boom. 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 And scarecrows, thankfully, cover a ton of ground in terms of where they fight off the scarecrows. So we'll just kind of put it maybe like right there. I think that'll work. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot one thing I should have done there is put down something under it. We're going to grab our hoe and get those artifact worms down here. <clears throat> where were they? Uh, if you put something under sprinklers and scarecrows, I think it's scarecrows too. Then, when you have your upgraded tools and are tilling up a whole bunch of ground at once. Ooh, artifact. Uh, when you're tilling up a whole bunch of stuff at once, it doesn't remove those things or pick them up. So that you only have to place them once. It's a set it and forget it mentality. You place them where you want them. You never got to move them again. So, again, these are things that I'm a little bit rusty on because it's been a while since I played. So, uh, can I take the chest back with us? Let's do that. You know what? You're coming with me. 
Um, so we're going to go visit the wizard. We'll say hi to the mouse. I think he charges you for all the hats. Yeah, so we certainly don't have the cash flows to deal with him at the moment. But we'll get there eventually. We will have so much money that we actually don't know what to do with it. My computer is running remarkably slow right now, so apparently something was going on in the background that's making it real choppy, so apologies. Ah, come in, he says. The bubbling cauldron of green frothy goodness over here. This is a very uh, eccentric dude here. Master of the Seven Elementals, Keeper of the Sacred Ch- You get the point. And you're the one who I have long foreseen. This real- this cutscene really is weird. So, kudos to the developers for getting stoned before they came up with the content for this page- or for this cutscene. All right, here comes the Junimo dude. You've seen one before, haven't you? Sure have, bud. What the heck is this thing? It's a Junimo. Mysterious, but for some reason they refused to speak with me. What was that? Oh, he disappeared. So they're in the community center. And we're trying to figure out why. What's the reason behind all of this? Oh, you found a scroll? That's interesting. You're a wizard, and I'm having to explain things to you. Poof. Alright, so he goes off to the community center to take a look for himself. And wait for it. Walks in the back, or the front door. So he saw the note. Now he's going to look through his books here. So the Junimo are happy to aid us, but in return they ask for gifts. If you are one with the forest, you will see the true nature of this scroll. So we gotta become one with the forest. And that's where the green bubbly substance comes into play. So let's get over there and take a big whiff here. go breathe it in breathe in the green frothy goodness you smell it oh, oh we're gonna drink it and apparently Evan is kind of afraid to do so Ooh, we got some energy out of that that's good because we were missing a lot of energy but now we're also hallucinating. This is just strange. We got floating trees. Oh, like dancing about. And leaves and whatnot. The lighting is all crazy. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we can now read the scrolls in the community center. Does that count as meeting the wizard? I assume it does. Yep. Alright, so we've met everybody. Alright, objective for the day. <clears throat> now that we are... Ooh! Ooh! Please don't have anything that I actually need, because I ain't got no money. Peach sapling, coconut water. I don't... Yeah, thankfully, none of those are items that I can't obtain myself in the first year. I almost forgot that it was Sunday. So the traveling cart comes on uh, Fridays and Sundays. So why don't we actually... We're going to go back to the homestead real quick. Real quick. We're going to drop some stuff off at the farm, and then we're going to go to the museum. Then I think what we're going to do is...
fish to stock up on energy items. So we can put that in there. Uh, you know what? Let's just actually set that out. So that goes in there. That goes in there. Uh, <clears throat> we'll bring the pickaxe in, in case we decide to switch up from... Uh, from... What am I trying to say? From fishing to mining. We're feeling froggy. This box is going to be our mining box. So we're going to turn it black. Let's see. Where do you what do you get in the mine and craft in the mine? Uh, we get bug meat in the mine, slime down there. Or although I probably want to take that with me, stone, quartz, frozen tear, topaz. Some of these things you can get in the mine, but that's not what I really think of them as. So I think this is a good start here. Let's go over here. You go in there. I should actually probably put that in the fish one, because we'll use that to make bait eventually. But not a big deal at the moment. And let's get it. Alright, so... And, of course, now that I put the hoe away, there's an artifact worm right there. So, you know what? It's a good luck day. We're going to go back, and we're going to get the hoe. And, uh, let's put these dandelions. Actually, you know what? I think I just remembered this. <clears throat> if you take one of the foraged goods from the uh, spring. I think it's the wild horse radish, dandelion, daffodil, and leek. Let's actually test this theory. Yeah, you can make spring seeds, and then you sell the spring seeds, and they're worth more. Now, we're not going to do that yet, because um... We will need to donate those to the community center. And I can't remember if that room is the first room you have access to. Uh, so we're not going to deal with that yet. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get moving. It's 1030. Wait, we have another? Oh, because we crafted the uh, scarecrow. And I forgot the hoe. That's the whole reason I went back, and I forgot it. Y'all, it's uh, my brain not working right now. So. And all of that for clay. Unbelievable. It's supposed to be a good luck day. That wasn't what I would refer to as a lucky find. And one other thing I want to look at real quick is, do the gift things... Okay, so the gift giving stuff resets on Sunday. So I could <clears throat> have brought a daffodil to give to Haley today, but it's not a big deal. And came all the way down here just to check for that. And nothing. So now we're going to the museum. Then we're going to go to fish. Museum, not Clint's. There we go. Wonder if we get a reward for this one. Nope. Oh well. We don't do it for the prizes. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Alright, more daffodils. See, we're getting good enough daffodil stash where I might be able to um, let's see what this is. We might be able to actually sell a few. Oh, it's Lewis's birthday. I don't care enough to go find him. He's probably just sitting in his house, but what am I going to give him? A daffodil? So, sorry, Lewis. Yeah. 
Y'all, somebody is pounding on my door downstairs. And it's making me somewhat concerned that there might be a challenge or an issue of some sort. So, hopefully nobody's dying. But we got fishing to do. I think we're good. Alright. Chubb, alright! <clears throat> so we're not going to spend, I think, a ton of time fishing. What we might try and do is go till like 4 o'clock. Hopefully get a little bit more uh, food to take with us down to the mines and try and maybe get down three more levels. Um, I can't remember what level it is. It might be level 40 that you get a sword upgrade. Um, we're nowhere near that just yet. Why is that thing bouncing like crazy? Uh, but anyway... You get down, every ten levels, I think, you get a prize. Or an award. So, don't know why there would just be random treasure chests sitting in a mine. Every ten levels, conveniently. But that's the way it is. And so, we're going to go and try and get some of those prizes. Alright, let's, uh, we got to get that chest. But I want to get you to calm down a second. There we go. What do we get? Normally, broken glass would not be really that noteworthy. But in this case, apparently, they are going to go on exhibit at the museum. So, something we can take down to Gunther whenever we have a moment. <sighs> I'm still really mad at myself about the failure to realize that I was exhausted when I went to bed. I mean, what kind of idiot? I mean, I've talked about it in previous episodes, so... <sighs> Whatever. And then the Scarecrow thing, not a big deal. We lost one potato. So... But we fixed it. We're moving on. Catching some fish. <clears throat> And then, like I said, we'll go till four, so maybe one more cast after this, and then we'll go do hopefully five levels in the mines, we'll see where that leaves us energy and time-wise, but that might do it for the day in terms of uh, our plans. Okay, we got 103 energy. We will burn through that in a hurry in the mines. So. This might be another chub. Nope. Bullhead. That's okay. Alright. <clears throat> Boom. Let's get our one coal so we can smelt. Copper bar. We'll put you in there and grab you to take your place you in there I gotta remember to take that chest with me later all this stuff can go in there uh... let's take the gold chubs oh I forgot a uh, coal for smelting all right, let's get it. We're on level 15. Kill this thing. <sighs> nice. Okay. Uh, let's get these things first, priority. Thank you. 
Jeez. Oh, cripes. Come on, I need him to drop a ladder. I did some damage. Come on, maybe one of these guys will. Oh my gosh. This is not going well. Where did he come from? That's a, uh, what in blazes is going on here? Was it that one? No, it was that one. <sighs> I really gotta get a better sword. I'm, like, I'm actually debating figuring out a way to just cheat my way into one. Because this sucks. But, so do many other elements of this game in terms of just a grind in the early going. Man, we are actually in danger now. What the heck? Where is the ladder? Uh, maybe if I just kill the stupid slimes. They're forcing my hand, because a lot of times they drop the ladder, and I'm starting to think that that's how this is going to go down. Nope. This is crazy. I'm going to kill every rock in this place before... Finally! Alright, there's a ladder over there. That is good. Because... This is going to get me now one level from... Oh, I hate these levels. You, it's this big spiral thing. That This is one of the levels where I pretty much just say... Forget your typical strategy of kind of, you know, running around to look for anything. Because you just want to hopefully hit the ladder as quick as you can, because the level just goes on forever. Oh, come on. I usually work my way toward the end of the... Um, spiral, but you are going to get left behind, dude. Because in the middle, if you make it all the way there, there's usually some goodies, some barrels, and stuff just lay in there. Come on, turn and hit him! Oh my god. Turn and... And he's gonna... This, this game is broken. Hit the rock. Earth crystal uh, is something that gets used later in the game. Alright, now we're just going to kind of make... We're close enough to the middle now that we're going to just try and get to the middle, get all that stuff. Then, our objective is to... It's 11.10 already. We gotta hustle. I'm going to have to run 
back out just to make it home in time for bed. What just happened? I know it's late. This is a disaster. Come on, baby. Oh, yes! Oh, jackpot. Oh, and we got a better weapon. Nice! That is a big change in the old momentum right there. Now, but we got to hustle here. Okay, we have very little energy. Let's, uh, let's do this. You go up there, get everything in there that we can. Uh, what needs to go home? I would like to take the chest that we made. I can't remember why. Oh. Swap that out. Those can both get thrown away. Uh, we'll bring you, 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 you. Uh, I'm just kind of randomly clicking on stuff right now, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll take the algae. Why? Uh, no, we'll leave that there. <clears throat> um, what can stay up here? Coal can stay up here. We'll leave my three silver chubs up there for a food source next time. And is there anything that I want to take to sell? I want to take the fishing rod. What do we have left? I don't need... So these are food sources. This I uh, don't really care about. Any of that stuff is not that big of a deal right now. Oh, glass shards we should take. So let's leave behind one slime. Alright, now, there's a sword in there that I can throw away, eventually, because it's useless. That's it, let's head back to the farm, we gotta hustle. I feel like I'm forgetting something, so, please, don't laugh if I lose my mind because of when I remember what I forgot. So, anyway, this is going to wrap up the episode. That is week one in the books. We'll get back here. Um, we'll have a little bit of time to dump this stuff into the bin. Okay, so mining stuff. I feel like there's something that you need Topaz for eventually. So for right now, basically, I'm putting all this stuff into these chests because I can't remember what you need to keep and what you can get rid of. But eventually, we'll get rid of a lot of stuff once I get my act together. So I'll do some homework to figure out what I can dispose of. Um, we're going to keep those. Um, we're going to sell everything else here, including the regular chub. Not too worried about energy. So these we're going to keep, um, so that we can use them, um, or we can get rid of them tomorrow. So anyway selling we're selling i'm going to keep that that's going to be a gift for Haley tomorrow selling 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 all right that's it let's head to bed and i don't know if we petted cooper today there you go all right y'all that's it for this episode i appreciate you watching drop a like hit the subscribe button and comment below we will see y'all next time